Mac Sauce. Eric here. That means the beer review is back. And honestly, for me, not a minute too soon, man. Chaos behind me. Grilling season is here. That means Jack Sauce Co. is busy. So many of you are already reaching out for delicious sauces and rubs, things that elevate your backyard barbecue, become the best backyard pit master you can. That's what Jack Sauce Co. is here to do. So if you need to elevate your game, just email us at jacksauceco at gmail.com. You can message us on any of these social media platforms. We're here for you. We're going to help get you sauce. We're going to make your friends and family rejoice when you cook. Man, I make you the talk of your block. That's what Jack Sauce Co. is all about. Summer short, guys, especially here in Chicago. So you got to grab it while you can. And Jack Sauce Co. can absolutely help you do that. We'll have the website up in hopefully soon, 2023. Uh, we're going to become a, like a, a big boy company, so to speak. But for right now, uh, just hit me up. We are a labor of love. I'm just one dude with some sauce. I'm trying to get to you. So, yeah. Uh, lots going on in the world of Jack Sauce Co. Uh, one thing in, uh, that really just literally happened today, and I'm very excited about it. Uh, myself and Chef Joe over at uh, uh, the Southernish. Uh, you've heard me talk about them before. I've worked with them so many times. Uh, culinarily, we're, we're very similarly minded. We love bouncing ideas off of each other. We've always talked about doing something together besides just a couple catering events, and we finally did it. We pulled the trigger, and we are entering our very first barbecue competition together, and it's the big boy of them all. We are entering a brisket competition. Uh, go big or go home, right? Big boy, the, the brisket, the king of the, 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 the big boy, the king of the barbecue. We're going to do it and we're so excited about it. So it made me think it's probably about that time to tell you about the latest addition to the Jack Sauce Co. family. Labels were literally approved today. I mean, that's how new this is going to be. But it's my beef rub and we have named it Bone Appetit. Bone Appetit rub will help you elevate your beef game from plate short ribs uh, to brisket, you name it. It's a big bold spice rub with a little bit of sweet uh, that's just gonna make the flavors pop on that big beef listen beef is bold so is the backyard pit master that decides to take on a brisket let bon appetit rub help you just nail it that's what we're here for all right enough state of the union enough about jack sauce you're here to watch a beer review so let's do it and i'm thirsty to be honest with you last weekend i got to go golfing with a great friend of mine and on the turn we went into the clubhouse like you do to get a tasty beverage and i saw a, a beer in the cooler and i'm like man how have i not talked about these guys yet on the beer review uh I, they make amazing beers it's a great brewery but really what they did is so innovative and I can't believe I, I haven't talked about it. There isn't a ton that's innovative in the beer world right now. And I don't mean that as an insult or anything like that. People are coming up with new styles and new flavors. I get all that. Uh, but from a branding perspective, these guys kind of took their small time brewery and just let it explode. They did something that was so simple. So simple. Nobody could, I don't get, it's hard to believe nobody thought of it before. It's one of those kind of things. Anyway, let's get into it. I'm rambling. Like I said, chaos. Chaos, guys. All right, we are going to be doing a Chicago Brew Local. Uh, we are doing Off Color Brewing. This is their beer for golf from the Beer Force series. That's what I'm talking about. This little beer for here, about as innovative it gets from a branding perspective in the world of beer. Man, these guys are great. So they started in like 2012, 2013. Jonathan, John Laffler and David uh, 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 Blent. Bleitner, Bleitner. I'm so sorry if I mispronounced that. Uh, but they met in school. They worked in pretty prominent uh, uh, Chicago uh, breweries over the course of the years, Goose Island, Metropolitan, Two Brothers, uh, to name a few. But they always wanted to start their own thing together. And they wanted to specialize in uh, uh, wild ales, fodder aged beers, whatnot. Forgotten beer styles, particularly from Germany that were being made before the Bavarian Purity Law of 1516. As we all know, stated beer had to be made out of three things, water, uh, uh, hops, and barley, uh, of course, adding yeast later on. But they wanted to play around with things beyond that, things that were going on before this law was put in place. So that's exactly what they were doing. And they were making very, very good beers. Uh, but they weren't exploding, if you will. Well, in 2020, uh, they came up with some genius idea that nobody ever thought of, and that is the Beer Force series. They made a beer called Beer for Tacos. They took the idea of a margarita, uh, added some lime to a Goza-style beer, uh, and kind of made the flavor profile of a margarita and what goes with the margarita a taco, all right? So Beer for Tacos was born. People loved the idea. It's so simple, but it was such a great idea. And it's a great beer, it's a great beer. So they smartly thought, why don't we do that for other things? So things like Beer for Golf were born, uh, Beer for Brunch, Beer for Pizza, Beer for Burgers, Beer for a Ball Game, all incorporating ideas. That's particular thing, uh, like Beer for Pizza, for instance, 
uh, is based on a cola, uh, which is really, really cool. It's a dark ale with a, a, with a cola feel, even a little bit of caffeine. But look, looking back in the day when you were a kid and you were drinking Coke, Coca-Cola with your pizza with all your friends, this one in particular, this beer for golf, is a wheat weeded style uh, uh, beer uh, with uh, uh, black tea and lemon juice in it. Arnold Palmer, golf. I mean, you see what I'm saying? I, I could praise them on and on and on. Uh, about this, but really, it, it proves in the pudding. Uh, they had they have a beer called April Rain that's very very similar to this particular beer in the sense that it's made with tea and fruit. Really, it wasn't super popular. Beer for golf, they named it this. Super simple. They gave it to people directly. This sold out before it even hit shelves. Nobody even knew what it tasted like, and they were selling this beer out. So what a great marketing uh, uh, campaign. What a great branding. Off color, uh, your beers are even better than your branding, which is hard to say uh, because this is just super cool. Anyway, let's try this beer out. So like I said, it's a weeded beer. Uh, it has black tea and Meyer lemon juice in it to give you a play on an Arnold Palmer. As we know, adding wheat to the beer is gonna give you that beautiful body, uh, those proteins in there, giving you that hazy, hazy complexity of the beer. And of course, you're gonna get clean, crisp flavors from the wheat and just a beautiful overall silky mouthfeel. Look at that. On the nose, I mean, it's tons of lemon. That's, I mean, that's what they're going for. Tons of lemon, herbaceousness from the tea, yeasty notes, the wheat coming out, like roasted, roasted straw. I just love this beer. Ice cold on a golf course, there's nothing better, man. But it does. It gives you that uh, that 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 Arnold Palmer kind of feel, the the the, the bitterness, the almost tannins of the tea, with the bright acidity of the lemon, the sour punch to it. That's exactly what's going on. And doing it with a wheat base is just such a good idea because the silky uh, 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 properties of the wheat protein in here just rounds it all out. This is just a really well made beer, guys, and it's just such a cool series. All right, I've got to get back to work. I, I've, I I I'm a branding geek, if you can't tell, and I just think off color, you've knocked it out of the park. Cheers, you guys. We'll See you soon. I missed. I'm having a hard day.